I'm meteorologist Taylor Canoose with your Local 5 Weather Lab. Common sense tells us that it rains when temperatures are above freezing and it snows when temperatures are below freezing. But have you know, ever noticed that it occasionally snows when temperatures are above freezing? Let's take a closer look at how that happens. When temperatures from ground level to cloud level are below freezing, you always get snow. There's no doubt about that. Now things get more complicated when temperatures in the lowest levels of the atmosphere climb just above freezing. In this warmer environment, a snowflake falls from the cloud and stays frozen until it reaches that warmer layer near the surface. At that point, the snowflake begins to melt. Now here's the catch. The melting process leads to evaporative cooling, which cools the air immediately surrounding the snowflake. This then slows the melting process of that snowflake. And if conditions are just right, the snowflake will make the trip all the way to the ground. The evaporative cooling process is more effective when you have drier air. However, if the air is too dry, then the entire snowflake will disappear before reaching the surface. Typically, you want dew points to be about 5 to 10 degrees lower than the air temperature to maximize this effect with wet snowfall. The depth of the warm layer is also crucial. The snowflake will have a better chance of survival if the depth of the above freezing layer is 500 feet above ground as opposed to 5,000 feet above ground. And generally speaking, snow will not reach the ground if ground temperatures are greater than 40 degrees, although there are rare instances when it can snow in as warm as 45 degrees at the surface. Check out the temperature the next time you experience a wet snowfall. You might be surprised at what you see. For the Local 5 Weather Lab, I'm meteorologist Taylor Knust.